All right, a motorcyclist killed in a Kalamazoo crash leaves behind eight children. The crash happened late last night on US 131. Tonight, News Channel 3's Brittany Gray spoke with his children, his siblings, and his girlfriend. She's joining us live in the newsroom with the details. Brittany. Andy, John Tenhoff's girlfriend was riding on the back of that bike when they crashed late last night. She's currently at Bronson Hospital where she had surgery. She is thankfully expected to be okay. She wasn't ready to go on camera, but like his family and friends, she just can't believe he's gone. John Tenhoff, or Rocket as many like to call him, had quite a few hobbies. His motorcycles, his DJ business, bull riding, even bull fighting. His children, though, were number one. Obviously, it was my dad, but he was a kind of like a close friend, too. Ten Hoff had eight children, ranging from about one to 14. Well, he loved his children, I tell you that much. Um, there's, I don't think anybody in the world that loved his children more than he did. And in an instant, everything changed. Last night, Ten Hoff was out for a ride. He and a group of riders were getting on to US 131 from I-94 when Kalamazoo Public Safety says he lost control of his bike while passing a car. Ten Hoff died on the scene. His girlfriend was thrown from the bike. Now his family is trying to piece together what happened. He was a very experienced rider. That's the only thing that he did was uh, if he had to go somewhere and his kids weren't there, he was riding his bike. Right now they have more questions than answers. Him. Just overall him. <laughs> Having a father figure like him, I don't know. Just hours after his father's death, perhaps fittingly, Tenhoff's son Alex put on a Man Up t-shirt. He says it's his turn to step up. I'm the oldest son. I mean, I need to be strong for my siblings and my mom, everybody. At just 14 years old, that's a big responsibility to take on, but Alex already has his sights set high. Me and my uncle are going to take over the DJ business. It's going to go far. Really great kid there. Now, KDPS is still investigating this accident at this point. However, it doesn't appear that Tenhoff was wearing a helmet. One of the riders says they're still trying to piece together exactly what happened, and she'd like to talk to the driver of that car. We'll have her story at 6. One side note, the family has set up a memorial fund for John's children. For information, just head to our website and click on news links. Reporting in the newsroom, Brittany Gray, News Channel 3.